Hi, so my name is Jeff Amstutz. I'm a software engineer at NVIDIA, and I'm here to tell you about the most important design guideline. Now, really, this I'll stand here. So really, this talk is really pointing you to go look at another talk by Scott Myers that's on YouTube that has a shockingly small number of views given how valuable it is. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and cue this up as your next video to go watch. Uh, it's a brilliant talk from Scott, but these are the highlights and things that I, draw, I drew from that, that talk. Um, so the reason to talk about interfaces and designs is because interfaces are everywhere. Now we think about the language, you have interfaces for function signatures, for template signatures, um, like what are your user defined types look like, um, like choosing class member visibility, just all over the place in the language, you're making design choices. But even more than that, there are design choices in how do you organize things like what goes in your headers? Uh, how, what is the architecture and structure of your project look like? How does your application do IO? Like how does it interact with the disk or with network? Um, user interfaces are pretty obvious. One that people rarely think about is your build environment. You've built a machine that is how you know, your C++ code gets turned into binary code. Uh, and that's that's actually something that an, a person interfaces with. So you could even consider that an interface. And of course, like runtime environments. So interfaces are everywhere, so we should probably talk about how to make them better. And the one thing that Scott Myers talked about in that talk is that the best design guideline is to make the right thing easy to do and the wrong thing difficult to do. Now this sounds obvious, but it's something that can be applied at the biggest decisions and the smallest decisions that you'll make in your development workflows. Um, so this is first a goal. It's not a prescription. So uh, Sean Parent in his Better Code series often talks about um, a lot of the things that he says are goals. So they're not always like attainable to the nth degree, um, but there's something to keep striving for. And then also this is a comparative heuristic, So and it's not a metric. So what I mean by that is this is something, uh, this idea only applies when you have two different decisions to choose between. Something on its own, like you can't tell if it's doing the right thing easier or better and letting and preventing you from doing the, the wrong thing. Um, so this is always a comparative thing. So why do we care about interfaces? Because they're everywhere. And your users, which sometimes is you, you want to do the right thing. You know, when you're calling an API, you're wanting to use that API correctly. If you're wanting to use a user interface, you're wanting to use that user interface correctly. Um, so uh, he talks about all these different uh, aspects of design that he touches on, and they're all brilliant, they're great, um, but I think there's even many more of those. Um, so let's look at some very simple examples just to give you a taste of this, and then you can go implement it um, in your own code. So the first example is very straightforward, memory ownership. Now this is a trick question. Is this a good interface? The answer is we don't know because we don't have anything to compare it against. But maybe the bottom interface is a better interface because sure, doing the thing, calling that function is just as easy in both designs, but it's more difficult to do the wrong thing in the lower interface because you're returning something that expresses the memory ownership about that memory that's uh, being pointed to by th uh, the return value of this function. So yeah, very straightforward, it's very simple, very small. I just want to show a, a more real, tangible example um, in an API that I've been working with for a while. It's a Kronos API called Anari. Come ask me about it if you want to learn about it sometime. Uh, it's going to go, the provisional spec is going to go out next week, which is great, or, or in a couple of weeks. But anyway, it, just take it for granted for a second that it's a C API and um, it's a rendering interface API and there's a way you can set parameters on objects. That's all you need to know. So the this function, an already set parameter, takes a device, the implementation you're talking to, an object from that implementation that you're gonna set a parameter on, the name of the parameter, the type of the, the value you're setting, and then um, a pointer to the memory that's gonna be set, that's gonna be mem copied uh, from that pointer. So the C usage below is how this works. We're setting like an aspect ratio on a camera because we're gonna render a frame with a particular aspect ratio. If we compare that to uh, a wrapper uh, in C++ that um, can use the C++ type system, uh, what we can do is make it easier to use correctly to make sure that the type T that, that is the value you wanna set on that object, we can use a type trait to infer what is the enum value, that C enum, um, uh, it, what is that value uh, that we should have for that type T. So then when we call the C API, we can safely guarantee, and even static assert if you used it incorrectly, um, to make sure that that's correct. So then in C++, it looks very similar, but 
it's harder to do the wrong thing. So that's what I want to hammer home. Use, do the, make the right thing easy to do and the wrong thing difficult to do. Thank you.